Space. Very glad to have you here with us today at NASDAQ. Thank you, Jason. It's a, um, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Uh, actually, we know currently there are thousands of like biotech companies. So, what do you think your company is different from them? Yes. Uh, thank you. So, there are a lot of biotech companies, but biotech companies many are, are different in many ways. Part of it is based on what therapies they're developing, and part of it's on uh, what the op opportunities are at the bedside with the patients. We are an immunology company, mm -hmm. and we're unusual as an immunology company because we focus on the innate immune system. There are two parts of the immune system. One's the adaptive, one's the innate. Most people focus on T cells. We focus on the innate immune system. And then finally, we're very unusual in that we have programs in cancer, in Alzheimer's disease, and in NASH. Those are three different disease categories that you usually don't see in one company. And what can we expect your therapeutic platforms to make a difference for patients? So our therapeutic platforms are all about making the innate immune system work, work to the benefit of the patient and make the patient healthy. It turns out that there are many diseases that we suffer from that have what's called chronic inflammation. Mm -hmm. and chronic inflammation is this low burning, grumbling inflammation that occurs uh, to the detriment of the patient and makes the patient worse. And it's mainly the innate immune system, cells of the innate immune system that cause this problem. So we target those, we fix them, we make the innate immune system normal again, and the patient gets better. So you think your approach is the best, it's very special? So of course, I mean, I think our approach is the best and it's also very different. Most people are trying to make the immune system stronger mm -hmm. or supplement the immune system. We think the immune system, all the pieces are there, but they're not working in the right way together. So our therapies are targeting about making the immune system work better, work together, and in that process, patients get better. And you mentioned about the inflammation drug. So how do you think the inflammation drug market the size? So inflammation is big. It's very big. Right now, the uh, largest selling drug class is a drug called TNF inhibitors. TNF inhibitors in 2027, so about five years from now, will be a 41 billion US dollar market. That's huge. One of our main drug is a second generation TNF inhibitor, so it's not going to sell $41 billion, mm -hmm. but that's the size of that market. And that's only one of the anti-inflammatory strategies. As medical science advances, we're understanding that the immune system and inflammation plays a role in many other diseases, for instance, Alzheimer's mm -hmm. disease, that before were not considered inflammatory diseases. So inflammation is important today, and it's only going to get more important in the future. Yeah, exactly. And also I saw, actually you received the fundings from Alzheimer Association. So could you please tell us why you think your AD approach will work? So Alzheimer's disease has been a frustrating disease mm -hmm. for both exactly. for companies to develop. It's obviously frustrating for the families and their caregivers. But in the, for the past 20 years, Alzheimer's disease has been focused on something called beta amyloid. Beta amyloid is a certain protein that's found in the brain. And everybody thought that was the problem. And after 20 years and $20 billion, people realized that that's not the problem. That's kind of the end of the line. Mm -hmm. What we need to treat is what causes beta amyloid to, to form. And so when you look at what happens when people get Alzheimer's disease, because nerve cells die and synapses fail. Synapses are the wires that connect nerve cells. So anything that you need to treat has to help nerve cells survive and connect those wires. And it turns out inflammation is the biggest culprit in causing those wires to fall apart and the nerve cells to die. So obviously if you target mm -hmm. inflammation, you should benefit that. We need to prove that, but we are starting a phase one trial. Actually, we're, it's open to enrollment as we speak. And the Alzheimer's Association, which is the largest Alzheimer's disease foundation in the world, thought enough about what we were doing that they gave us a part the cloud award for a million dollars to allow us to, pers to pursue this dream. And you recently actually announced another program in NASH. So what is NASH? So thank you. Uh, yes, we just last Thursday announced a program in NASH. NASH is a liver disease mm -hmm. that is rampant in Western countries. 
and it happens to be a disease of, of it's really a social disease. It's a disease of eating and drinking too much. As people eat and drink too much, they gain weight, mm -hmm. they get fat, they get insulin resistance. And what happens is that inflammation associated with the fat and the insulin resistance actually has a direct effect on the liver. And over time, over years, the liver begins to fa accumulate extra fat, just like your love handles get mm -hmm. fat, your liver gets fat. And when your liver gets fat, this vicious cycle of inflammation, cell death, and scarring occurs, and the liver begins to get worse. And it's an epidemic in this country, and it will soon be the most common cause of liver transplant. Mm -hmm. But somewhere around 20% of all people in the U.S. have a fatty liver. Some of those patients have NASH. There's no approved therapy. It's a big medical problem. And we believe that targeting the chronic inflammation associated with being fat, having insulin resistance, having a leaky gut will help patients heal their liver and get better. And nowadays when we talk about treating cancer, we, we hear about actually T cell, but not nearly as much as the natural killer cell. So what is the NK cell? So thank you. I mean, you remember at the beginning, I talked about that there are two parts of the immune system, the adaptive immune system and the innate immune system. Actually, they're 50-50 they're partners. They really need to work together hand in hand. But for reasons that we can talk about at another time, most companies, mm -hmm. most research, and most companies focus on the adaptive immune side, T cells, CAR T cells, mm -hmm. checkpoint inhibitors. All of those things are on the adaptive side. And that's great. They've, great progress has been made. But it's only half the story you need to bring the other side of the immune system to bear. And there are, until recently, there are very few companies that have been focused on the innate immune system. We target the innate immune system. We target cells such as natural killer cells, mm -hmm. myeloid-derived suppressor cells, tumor-activated macrophages, all special cells associated with the innate immune system in patients with cancer. And we target them in a way to make it so they will attack their cancer or respond to cancer therapy better. So it's all about making the patient's immune system better, making them respond to immunotherapy better, and, and making so that they have a chance. Yeah, so is there any other words you want to say to our audience and investors? So we believe that we are a new type of company. Mm -hmm. That is, we're a platform-based company. As I said, we are treating biology. We have this great biology, with this ability to treat chronic inflammation, and we know a lot about how to treat chronic inflammation. If you go to our website, we have over 60 publications. But then we take that biology, and then we go to conquer different diseases. We go out to conquer cancer. We go out to conquer Alzheimer's disease. We go out to conquer, Na conquer NASH, and there'll be other diseases in the future. So I want people to understand that we're not really about treating diseases. We do treat diseases. We will make a difference at, bedside, at the bedside. But we're really about treating biology. And when we treat that biology, when we fight that biology, when we win against that biology, diseases go away and patients get better. Exactly. Very exciting. Thanks so much again for the interview. And thanks so much for coming to NASDAQ. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Jason. It was a pleasure.